welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we have an interesting problem. We have the exponentials of 8 to the power of x plus 27 to the power of x all over 12 to the power of x plus 18 to the power of x is equal to 7 over 6. So maybe pause the video and give it a try and see how you get on. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thank you. First of all, we're concentrating on 8 to the power of x. So we're going to use the indices rules. We're going to compound 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of x. Now we can use the power rule and we can write it as 2 to the power of 3x. Okay, that's the first one completed. Now let's go on to 27 and we can rewrite it as 3 to the power of 3 all to the power of x and then we can use the power rule and write it as 3 to the power of 3x now we're going down south to 12 and we're going to rewrite that as 2 to the power of 2 by 3 to the power of 1 all to the power of x and then we can rewrite that as 2 to the power of 2x by 3 to the power of x and now the 18 and we can rewrite that as 2 to the power of 1 by 3 to the power of 2 multiplied to the power of x. Now let's multiply in with the power rule. We can rewrite it as 2 to the power of x by 3 to the power of 2x. And this is our final combination. So we have 2 to the power of 3x, 3 to the power of 3x, 3 to the power of x by 2 to the power of 2x, plus 2 to the power of x by 3 to the power of 2x. Let's concentrate on expanding the numerator. So the 2 to the power of 3x plus 3 to the power of 2x up here can be converted to 2 to the power of x all to the power of 3 by reversing the x and the 3. Right, so if that's the case, then we can apply the sum of two cubes algebra expression to the numerator. So let's express it outward. So we have 2 to the power of x replaces a, add it to 3 to the power of x, and that's your b. Now we're going to square up, and we're going to go 2 to the power of x, all to be squared minus the product of 2 to the power of x by 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x all to be squared. Now let's turn our attention to the denominator and if we rewrite it down here and examine it we can see we have common factors and we can factor them out. So we can rewrite it as 2 to the power of x by 3 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x 3 to the power of x very good so now it's factorized so let's look at what we have after factorizing let's eliminate the 2 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x factor above and below and now we have a simplified fraction. So to go any further, we can expand out the x to the power of 2 with the power rule. So we go 2 to the power of x squared is equal to 2 to the power of x by 2 to the power of x. And also, 
3 to the power of x all to be squared is equal to 3 to the power of x by 3 to the power of x. Okay, now let's simplify it. We're going to split up this fraction. So we got to split it up into the sum of independent fractions. So we're going to take this part of the numerator. We're going to place all of these over the same denominator and try to simplify. So let's get started. So we have 2 to the power of x, 2 to the power of x, all over 2 to the power of x by 3 to the power of x, minus 2 to the power of x by 3 to the power of x, over 2 to the power of x by 3 to the power of x. And as you can see, finally, we have 3 to the power of x by 3 to the power of x, all over 2 to the power of x by 3 to the power of x. So let's start our cancellations and simplify. So over here, we can cancel the 2 to the power of x, perfect. And the next one, they will cancel in on both terms. And finally, then the 3 to the power of x. Now let u equal to 2 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x, as we need to simplify the problem further. So our expression becomes u minus 1 plus 1 over u as 3 to the power of x over 2 to the power of x is the inversion. And then we have the value of 7 over 6. Now let's multiply across by u. And we will get u squared minus u plus 1 as u over u is 1 is equal to 7 u over 6. Multiply across by 6 now. So we get 6u squared minus 6u plus 6 is equal to plus 7u. And finally, our expression becomes quadratic in neat form. So we get minus 6 minus 7, as this is negative when I bring it across here be minus 7u, we get minus 13u plus 6 is equal to 0. So we have the minor task now of factoring for u. So we're going to go with this direct approach. So we can put a 3 here. So 3 by 3 will give a 9u and then a 2u by a 2 will give a product of a 4u for the cross multipliers and they're both negative as we need to bring up a sum of negative 13u. Now we're going to solve for u. So in case one of the factor 3u minus 2 is equal to 0. We're going to add 2 to both sides and we get 3u is equal to plus 2 on the right hand side. Divide across by 3, get u is equal to 2 over 3. So that's case 1 completed. On to case 2 and we will take 2u minus 3 is equal to 0. Again, add 3 to both sides and we get 2u is equal to 3. Therefore, u is equal to 3 over 2 also. So we have two values to work with. Now let's reintroduce the exponents. So re recall that the u was equal to 2 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x. And now we're going to compare this u okay, with our value. So we have 2 to the power of 3, 2 over 3. So we're going to examine our exponents now. So we have a 1 here as 2 is 2 to the power of 1 and 3 is 3 to the power of 1. 
all right so we can compare the exponents now and we can as they have the same basis on both sides we can say now that the x here and the exponent here are equivalent on both sides so now we have one of the solutions therefore we can say x is equal to 1 for case 2 u is equal to 3 over 2 so let's rewrite u as 2 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x so the 3 over 2 can now be inverted by placing a power of negative 1 as the exponent as this will invert the fraction now let's distribute the negative 1 into both numerator and denominator and we will get a result of 2 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of negative 1 over 3 to the power of negative 1 so we can compare the exponents as the bases are the same therefore for solution 2 we will have x is equal to negative 1 finally our solutions to the exponential equation are x is equal to plus 1 and x is equal to negative 1. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for joining Maths Plus and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and see you again soon on the next exciting Maths video.